Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman, and today's topic is testing the draft at a natural draft water heater. So this video is really focused on what a home inspector or an HVAC contractor would do to help make sure that your natural draft water heater will draft properly. The way these things work, and the reason they call them natural draft, is that the exhaust gases from this water heater are going to rise up this vent connector over to the vent over there and then up and out of the home through gravity. It's hot, therefore it's lighter, and it wants to rise up and out. But there's no fan pushing this exhaust air up. If this home is short on air, meaning this thing has to compete with exhaust fans and clothes dryers, it's going to lose. And it's a matter of making sure that there's enough air brought back into the home so that everything has enough air. So from a home inspection perspective, if I'm going to test this, we do what we consider a worst case test. And it's a matter of going around and turning on everything that competes with air. Turning on the bathroom exhaust fans, turning on the kitchen exhaust fan, provided it vents to the exterior, turning on the clothes dryer, and well, that's really all I can think of. Turning on anything that removes air from the home. And then we come to the water heater and we test for draft. Oh, and also let me interrupt one more important thing I forgot to mention while I was standing next to the water heater. If you have a furnace that shares the vent with a water heater, the furnace cannot be running. The problem is that the furnace will establish draft almost every time. And if the furnace is drafting properly, it kind of lets the water heater cheat and it just jumps onto that hot air stream that the furnace has already created. So it's important that you don't have your furnace running at the same time. Continue. Now, the situations where I'm really suspicious are in situations just like at this home where if we look at the top of the water heater you can see that this plastic is all melted and that's a result of backdrafting. So we've gone around, we've turned all those things on and now we're either going to turn up the temperature on the water heater or we're going to run hot water until the water heater kicks on. My preference is to simply run hot water. And I say that because I'd really prefer not to adjust the temperature on the water heater. I once had a client get back to me after the inspection and say that their temperature and pressure relief valve discharged water all over the place because I had set the temperature too high. Um, and whether that was true or not, it's a complaint that I definitely would not have received had I just made a policy of never adjusting the temperature on the water heater. So. I'm going to run some hot water at the faucet and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I ran a bunch of hot water, the water heater kicked on, and sure enough, it's backdrafting. All I need to do to verify this is put my hands right here at the draft hood. As I cup it, I can feel tons of hot air spilling out, but that doesn't make for very good video. So let's, let's try a couple of other methods. I'm going to actually take a lighter and we'll hold it up to this and we'll watch this flame. Oh, put it right out. Hold it up here, we're good. As I get closer, it blows it right out. There's a lot coming out of there. And then finally, we'll take a mirror. I'm gonna hold this mirror up to it and it's gonna get super foggy as soon as I do that. So there was some nice visual evidence and the water heater just can't do its job and draft Why properly. is it backdrafting? We don't know that, but I have my suspicions. My first thought is that I turned on all those fans and I removed all this air from the home and I suspect we're removing too much air. So what do we do and what, what's the problem? Well, you, you've got this combustion air duct right behind me here. This should be bringing in a bunch of replacement air so none of these problems happen. But look what I did. I stuck a milk carton in here for this demonstration. As soon as I remove this milk carton, this should start drafting properly. So we pop that out. Our combustion air intake is now wide open. And let's repeat that test with the lighter and we'll see what happens when it's drafting properly. And I'll just make sure. Yep, no hot gas coming out again. 
and now watch where the flame goes. Now the flame draws up inside there, showing it's drafting properly. Instead of blowing out, it just draws in nice and gently. And that is some nice visual evidence of what a water heater looks like when it is drafting properly. So if we find that a water heater backdrafts and it seems as though we may not have sufficient combustion air brought into a home, and I haven't stuffed the duct closed with an empty milk carton, what I might do during a home inspection is go to a nearby window or door and open it up all the way and then come back to my water heater. If the water heater starts drafting properly, as soon as I put a big hole in the home's envelope, I open a big window or door, then I know that this is a makeup air issue. It's a combustion air issue. We need more combustion air coming into the home. And that would be my recommendation is get a heating contractor out there to fix that situation. Now, of course, there's a lot of things that can change. Wind blowing against the house can change even the worst case scenario and make it way worse than it was when I was testing. There, there's a lot of variables. People can change things. People can change appliances. People can replace windows, do weather stripping, seal attic bypasses. There's a million different things that homeowners can do to change what seems kind of like a static test. So it's not as though this is just a one size fits all approach. We're saying in general, combustion air can be an issue, but there's a lot of other things that affect this. If you want a more surefire way to make sure that your water heater doesn't backdraft, it's gonna be a matter of replacing the water heater with one that doesn't have a natural draft. You end up going with a power vent water heater. Those have a fan that pushes the exhaust gas out of the home and it's basically a guarantee that you're not going to have backdrafting issues. And that's why if you go to pretty much any newer home built in Minnesota, I'd say within the last 10 years or so, you're not gonna find anything but a power vent water heater. Okay, I'm waxing now. That concludes draft testing on water heaters. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.